Sure. I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman, and we are going live on Facebook today on the 4th of July. We want to wish you happy 4th of July from myself, my husband, Marek Villalobos. Buenas tardes. Who is an amazing, he's been an amazing um, translator of the books and reading the audiobooks, an amazing narrator. Which has been a blast, by the way. Yes. Go ahead and tell us about that. Well, the growth is what was interesting. In reading the audiobook of 21st Century Superhuman, book one, Shift of the Ages, um, I went through a growth experience uh, reading it and learning about how we create our reality with our thoughts and, uh, and learning more and more. And as we went through the book, I felt a whole change, even in the narration itself. Uh, the first chapters, I could, you know, now that I look back on it and, and listen to them, I feel like a rookie. And, and as they went through the chapters, I felt myself maturing as I, as I embodied these principles. It was wonderful. So we have amazing conversations every day on a daily basis about this book and about the thoughts in it, which book one, which we've been working on now, is called Shift of the Ages. And the Shift of the Ages is about quantum physics. It is about how our thoughts create in this world, our thoughts, emotions, our intentions, and our actions. And it is also about how ancient texts are meeting quantum physics. And we are in living in amazing timelines where tremendous change is going on on planet Earth. So that's right. Not just ancient texts, but science, science itself. We have people like Greg Braden and, and others who explaining what, how this works and really works and, and that how it actually is more, more accurate. True. I mean, funny thing, I got up this morning and somebody had sent me a, a post with 26 pages from the CIA of how they say that this is a holographic reality. Like, you know, it's coming from every direction. But a being. So here we are. I would like to talk about some really cool and interesting things today, one of which we are in an amazing planetary lineup right now, and it is no simple planetary lineup. It is simply very complicated, very intense, very moving of energy, very powerful, and we have a lunar eclipse tomorrow which is no lightweight lunar eclipse. Or tonight, isn't it? Tonight, late tonight, mm -hmm, sorry. Mm -hmm. It's kind of into the fifth, though. So it's um, gotcha. fourth into the fifth. So it's midnight-ish, depending yeah. on where you are on the planet. 11.44. So it is, a, it is a point where things are getting cut off. Those things that don't belong in the frequencies we're moving into. There's tons of light moving into the planet. And this is, this is corroborated by NASA. I mean, this comes from how we... Um, we understand science that light is moving into the planet, but we as awakening beings are learning to capacitate that light. And what does that mean, babe? Well, not just capacitating the light, but going into the eclipses. Eclipses themselves energetically are resets. It's like a reset of the computer where you, you, you shut it off and, and turn it back on again. But old programs are deleted. New programs are reinstalled. And we reboot with whole new software, entirely yes. new software. Yes. And that's where we're going on this great shift of the ages. Yes. Where we've, we're coming from an age of uh, 13,000 years of darkness, going into the new golden age of light of another 13,000 years. So what are the next 2,000 years going to be like? What are the next 100 years going to be like? What are the next 10 years going to be like? And this shift from night to, to day from darkness to light is what we're seeing right now. And everything that was built in that darkness uh, cannot survive in the light. So everything that was built in it, the abuse, the slavery, everything that our old system, which we're seeing now, um, must dissolve. It will dissolve. It is dissolving. Yes. And we're seeing that happen right now. The ancient scrolls, which I ran into in Peru, and we will be bringing more forward on those. They were written 
from 1969 to 1978, literally thousands of these and 10,000 words on a page written by hand in a galactic download. They say there will be an end to this civilization that is made of abuse and greed and that which is not of the light and of love will disintegrate. It will not be able to hold form anymore. And these are called the messages of the Alpha and Omega, which is really That's interesting. Right. And as that happens, the dark stuff, the gooey stuff that's stuck on the bottom of the pot, if you will, is boiling out. It's coming out. And the idea is to let it go, not to hold on to the darkness, not to right. grab onto it and say, oh, that terrible stuff and this horrible yes. this and the horrible that and get into that because what you're putting your energy to, you're, you're, you're keeping and maintaining in creation. So allowing these things to leave with love, understanding that it's played its purpose, it's done its part, and, and it's okay because the darkness and the light are one. We're mm -hmm. not separate. That is an illusion as well. We are one. We are, we are unity. Yes. We are literally like a biocomputer. So when we operate in love, and as we say, as I say all the time, breathe, smile, and love, as we breathe, smile, and love, we literally change our neurobiology and we change the world and we literally set new timelines in motion. Now the old timelines are held in place by the aspects of ourselves that carry around old data, which is old human grief, anger, rage, suffering. Oh, but my, but my, my tribe was pillaged. My generations were pillaged. I mean, I have a heritage that's from two different countries that have been at war with each other forever. And I, 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 I've been really aware of having to let go of those aspects inside myself. I mean, you think we all have ancient grief. We all have ancient rage. And it's easy to let these things out on, you know, what we see around us and let ourselves just get into this rage and this fight and this grief and apathy. And yet these things have to rise to the surface. But the... The awakened way for those to rise to the surface is to breathe, to be present with them, and to release them with love, to release these old thoughts and emotions. And I have people write me every single day messages and where they're really caught up in what I call the 3D reality. And we're literally moving into a higher dimensional, a higher frequency form. It's hard to understand because we can be really attached to the old world, to security, to the familiar, to what seems normal around us. And yet right now, nothing is normal. And there's certainly That's a purpose in that. Absolutely. And I love the way your book drills all this home. It just goes over it and over it and over it until by the end, you really look around and you see things in a new light, in a new way, and you become a, the center of the hurricane. Yes. With all this tumult that's going on around us, you find yourself in peace. You find yourself in joy. Yes, you have your emotions, but those are your guidance systems. That's yes. showing you what you need to do because you're learning how to trust your intuition and your feelings, and they're telling you something about yourself. It's telling you something about your exterior that you need to amend within yourself. Yes. And your book just brings that all in. But I'm curious, why? tell us about the background you chose today. <laughs> well, President Trump is our president, and I feel like he did a really fabulous speech in South Dakota yesterday, as well as did um, Christy, I think Noel is her last name, who is the governor of South Dakota. She's incredible, really like superwoman. Noem or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And really, really, really beautiful down to earth. I'd call her a superstar seed. And I feel President Trump is here to help be a holder of this change. And above our heads, you see these hashtags that have become common among a number of people. I know that some people watching this video may be triggered that we have Trump here with us. And some will love it that we have Trump here with us. But that's all just part of this. You know, can you let go of the, of the tug of war, the rope in the tug of war for a while, and just let yourself flow with what's going on? Um, I, so let's just talk a second. Um, these hashtags above us, WWG1WGA stands for 
Where we go one, we go all. And guess where that came from? It came off the bell on President Kennedy's boat. And it is kind of a meme of the Q culture. And the Q culture is a culture that is going on behind the scenes, talking about the possibilities that may be developing in the world for good to help lead us into greater freedom for we the people. I was 11 years old when President Kennedy was assassinated. Now, I remember I was at a birthday party of a girl named Judy. I can't remember her last name, but I remember being at her house. I remember the girls that were there. I remember we were watching TV and a bird is landing on the window as I speak. Oh, yeah, Very I beautiful. I see it. Um, Hi there. We, we give attention to these things. These Pay signs. attention to the signs. That's and right. he's still on the window. Nature responds to us. It responds to our energy. And so JFK was assassinated to the great shock of the nation and even me as an 11 year old and there's been many stories that have been told of that assassination but he told us when he was alive that it didn't matter what party we were for it mattered that we were for the good of the people he told us that there was a culture of darkness behind the scenes that had been running things on the planet in an evil way and when you think of 7 billion people, 3 to 4 billion of them don't have enough food, don't have enough water, don't have enough shelter, don't have proper education. And beyond those 3 to 4 billion, there's a couple of billion who have enough. And I happen to be lucky enough to be from a country where we received a great education. And even if we had little, we still had much. Yet there is has, what what happened i'm thinking mention. of the great education and now you have to unlearn everything you learned yeah that's kind of <laughs> true too because much of the education of our modern day has come from television which has been a program running by some organizations that we won't get into right now they tend to be alphabet organizations and what happened after jfk was assassinated was there, there was a group of leaders who, and many of them in the military who got together around the world and said, we are not going to stand for this anymore. We're going to work together until we can create positive change. And we believe in our hearts from much that we've studied, much research that we've done, that Donald Trump is working with these white hats. And we stand behind that white hat movement. I know I have people write me and they say, oh, I can't believe you're part of this cult and you're this and you're that and you're this and you're that. But we don't hold on to the rope. You know, in a tug of war, there can only be a tug of war if you hold on to the rope. So we allow every person their journey of thought, their exploration of what is going on in the world. The one thing we ask is that you let go of the conventional media as your source of information because this source of information is not bringing you truth. It is bringing you a story designed to manage the population to serve a few at the top. And it's of lower frequency. Yes, it you is know, of lower what frequency. What did Tesla say about if you want to learn about the universe? Frequency, frequency and energy. Frequency and energy and vibration. vibration and energy. Yes. There you go. So when I was a kid, my dad used to make me memorize things, and I kind of hated it then, but I am so grateful. And I was memorizing great literature, and it seemed that the things that I chose had to do with what my sole purpose and my mission has become on Earth, which had to do with, it was Harriet Beecher Stowe and taking the slaves on the Underground Railroad to escape, and... Um, I, I literally had a dream a few years back of waking up in this in-between dimension and all these people were wearing these orange suits like they were in prison. And I was going around shaking them saying, come on, it's time to wake up. We can leave. We can go to the next level. And they were all kind of walking around kind of asleep. And I, Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, come on, let's go. Well, another thing that I memorized when I was a kid. It was like my favorite thing that I memorized. Um, it was called Paul Revere's Ride. And it relates right now because we are in this planetary lineup, which is the same as the American Revolution or very similar. Somebody might argue with me from an astrological standpoint, but in general, we are in a very similar 
planetary lineup to the American Revolution. Amazing. And this means there is revolution afoot. And this is a revolution for human souls. This is a revolution for freedom for humanity. This is a revolution, without getting into all the details of it, for us rising to our, po our potential. And this is one of the reasons that I loved President Trump's speech yesterday on the 3rd, which was about the Declaration of Independence, the men who brought forward these principles and created an incubation place in the United States of America as a place where freedom could grow and freedom could reign. And from that incubation place, it has been a light for the world. I'm just getting chills. That's right. Yeah, no, this is intense. And it's about frequency. Yes. I would go back to the frequency. Again. I mean, I, I don't even do 4th of July. Right. Or, or Christmas. It's because every day is Christmas. Yes. Every day is Thanksgiving. Yes. Every day is Independence Day. Yes. Because we are sovereign. We are not beholden to anyone. We, and this is a learning thing that we're going through now. Many people are already there. A lot of us are still getting there to become sovereign, to stand on our own feet. I am my doctor. I am my best doctor if I can learn to hear my body. Yes. And, and as you know, that's been a big journey for me is being to recognize what I'm even feeling. Yes. And so it's that frequency that's everything. So, so this big shift that we're going in, um, that's one way of noting. How does it make you feel? What frequency does that is that message? If, if what you're hearing makes you fearful, if it makes you apprehensive, if you go, oh my gosh, it's gonna, this invisible enemy is gonna get me if I don't, and, you know, have a silly thing on my face. And let us state, fear is false events appearing real. I uh, hope that's all it is. Yes. So let's talk about um, Paul Revere's Ride is a poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow that I memorized when I was a kid, and it's several pages long, but we'll just read a little bit the first few lines. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere on the 18th of April in 75. This is 1775. <laughs> Hardly a man is now alive, and he wrote this in the 1800s, who remembers that famous day and year. He said to his friend, if the British march by land or sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the North Church Tower as a signal light. One if by land two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore will be ready to ride and spread the alarm through every Middlesex village and farm for the country folk to be up and to arm. Then he said good night and with muffled oar, silently rowed to the Charleston shore. I have this posted on my Facebook. If you want to go to my personal Facebook, Carrie Karastar Ellis, or the 21st Century Superhuman Quantum Lifestyle Group, you can read the whole long Longfellow poem. It's just really lovely and it's a very inspiring and it's a re reminiscent of what are we doing right here, right now? Are we rising? Are we rising to light and to truth and to what we need to be connected with as we move forward in this next phase of human evolution? Are we ready? Are we standing ready? When I see the light, when I see the signal, I'll be ready. I'm off. So that's the question to me is, are we ready? Am I ready? Am I letting loose the baggage that I need to let go of? Am I taking the rocks out of my backpack yes. that, I, that are unnecessary? And the rocks out of your backpack are ancient hatred, their ancient greed, their ancient grief, their ancient suffering, their ancient apathy, their ancient ignorance. And th these are like the bottom of the iceberg. In book two of 21st Century Superhuman, mm -hmm is about this and it, it we only have the tip of the iceberg at the surface but when we feel our rage and our grief and our fear coming up this is a mirror our world is being a mirror to us saying this is something you need to cancel release and let go let go from your being let go from your body let go from your mind breathe and smile and center in love and allow yourself to flow into the next level of your being. This is the highest teaching that there can be today. This is the highest walk of mastery that there is. And we just want to invite everyone onto this path with us because it is a path that changes us deeply on the inside. And as we change on the inside, we change ourselves to That's change right. the world. That's when That's the right. world changes, as we change. That's right. I can't say it any better than that. <laughs> Who can?
And your book is is full of that. I love your books. Um, reading it again in Spanish um, reinforced everything that you're saying and and helped me realize how much we create and and that what happens on the outside doesn't have anything to do with me. It, it, even as much as it seems to be, but it it's a mirror. If we can see it, we have a resonance. Like we say, there's a guitar on one side of the room and a guitar on the other side of the room. And if I pluck a G string on that guitar, the G string on this other guitar will buzz. So the only reason we can see something in our world is because there's still an old resonance of that carried around inside of us. And if it's anything other than love, we want to notice that it's there. We want to say, thank you for being my teacher world and showing me what I need to look at today to release and let go. True. I said that it didn't have anything to be to do with me, but um, it's the contrary. It has everything to do <laughs> with me. It has everything to do with how I feel, with my perceptions, with my self-talk. So it's not just taking care of our physical body, but it's taking care of our mental body, our emotional body. How, you know, what's our self-talk? Which, which wolf are we feeding, right? Which wolf are we feeding? And emotional too, how you choose to feel, how you allow yourself to feel um, is, is, is creating your exterior, right. every bit of it. And, and that's just, that's magic. Yes. That's living the new age. It's yes. living a life of ease. Magic happens. Miracles happen. Miracles become daily. And daily we have miracles in our life. It's, it's an amazing way of living. Um, I, I, I say I can't wait for it to get better, but it's already better and magical. Every day is, yes, is a wonder. Is. Especially when we're living this. When we talk about it daily, it's how we, how we share our life with each other. I'd like to bring up just a couple of things, um, and we we do have a lot of Spanish-speaking people in our world. Nice. I will put the links for the books under this video, um, the paperback and the audio. I mean, the paperback and the ebook of book one are currently live on Amazon in both English and Spanish. So that is the shift of the ages. And what, how do you say the title in Spanish, Dave? El superhumano del siglo XXI. Yes. Libro and uno. El cambio de las eras. Yes. So, um, I can't even say it. Right, that's the same thing. So, um, <laughs> and the audio books are also up. We're just waiting for them to go through the Amazon publishing process in order to show up. So, within the next week or so, they should be visible. So, I'm going to put the links for those things. Make sure if you order the book, you get the one with the gold seal on the front. So, look for... Um, Shift of the Ages, book one, Carrie Kira Star Ellis, and you'll find the ones with the gold yeah, seal. Because that's and the latest. That third. is the third edition. Mm -hmm. It's updated. It's current with now. It's far beyond um, the earlier versions, um, one and two, that were published over the last couple of years. As I was reading the Spanish book, just we got it completed a few weeks ago, um, especially with everything going on now, it seemed that every page was just screaming about right now. Yes. I mean, before when I read the English version, all this hadn't happened yet. And so we were still working on a prophetic basis. It was like, yeah. this is coming. We need to prepare. We need to go into ourselves. We need to update ourselves. And now it's, it's, it's happening. Yes. It's current. It's, it's, we're, we're there. And these books are being called the guidebook for these times. And they are something that we believe everyone needs to listen to, to read, to look at, to share with each other, to talk about read them in little groups, they literally change the construct of how we understand and look at our world in these... Yeah, well, it gives times. you tools for right now. Right. What do we do with all this turmoil? What we, do we do with this hurricane yes. that we're in? And what it does is it gives us a path. It says, here's the light, here's where we're going, and then once you know where we're going, then your choices become much simpler because yes. then, yes, that goes along with my path. Yes, that does. That does not. That does not. Excuse me, buddy. Sorry. I know I love you. I've known you forever, but that is not in my path. Right. And you find yourself doing that. The frequency becomes very clear and you begin to separate from many people in your lives. Yes. And that's another thing about this moon. I think the um, I've kind of been having an experience of this lunar eclipse people who are not in frequency with where we are 
we seem to be parting ways and we just bless everyone and say, you know, everyone's got their way on their path. They've got their experiences they need to go through. It is, this is a journey of soul awakening more than anything else. Um, David Wilcock recently did a really beautiful video on the rainbow body with a guy who's had uh, near death, ex many mm -hmm. near death experiences. With Damien Brinkley. Yes. And um, that's really worth listening to some, and I think, you There's know, one of the things of that, that sets us back is fear of death. And really, there is no death. But That's right. we won't go off into that today. We're going to start doing regular lives. As I've been saying, we've been just really caught up in publishing details. It's been tons of work. But we're starting to see the light. And I'm hoping that starting this week, at least three days a week, we'll start doing lives and talking about these things on a daily basis. What I want to talk about just a little bit right now is the Spanish, because we have a lot oh, okay. of Spanish-speaking people in our community. And I know Trump's wall is a big um, it's a big issue for a lot of people. And we don't like the idea of anyone anywhere being stuck somewhere, being immigrants, uh, being uh, barricaded, et cetera. Um, and his effort is to get back America as a healthy land where people can grow as an incubation place for everyone in the world, for the world to become a healthier global community. Right. And freedom must reign in order for that to happen, and we must reclaim our freedom. And right now we know that the White Hats are working behind the scenes to reclaim something that has been waiting to be reclaimed since the days of JFK. That's the and, key, the behind the scenes. Yes. There is much going on behind the scenes that we're not seeing. Yes. All we're seeing is what's in front of the curtain on the stage that yes. we're being shown. And now we know that much, much, if not all of that, is is not really what's going on right. and so the behind the scenes is changing much of that and uh, there's going to be a, 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 a scene change soon yes and and so there's much that we see on the front but there's much more be on, behind it and so with the wall part of it i see that that the front of it is a wall it looks like a separation of people but i feel that behind it there's a deeper effort that the wall is to keep out drugs to keep out trafficking, human trafficking that we found out lately is even bigger than we thought. Yes, than the drugs, horrendous. But it's huge. Yes. So we feel that it's more to do with that than to do with trying to keep people out or immigration. That, that, that's, what's out, that's what's out on front of the stage that isn't really the rain, main reason. That's what I feel anyway, um, because I know that, that the keeping the people out is, is an old darkness structure. Yes. And that structure is not going to stand. Right. What is the light? The light is unity. The light is brotherhood. The light is compassion. The light is living through the resonance of our hearts and creating our, our reality from the resonance of our hearts. Yes. And so that is where the big change is. We coming. are a global community. We're a galactic community. We're a universal community, universal culture. And we live to see those things restored. We believe there will soon be big changes in the economic system. There will be big changes that will help support everyone on, on earth live lives of plenty, moving us towards peace and freedom. For There's all. more coming that we have no idea about. Yes. So I want to hang on to your hats. Yes. Do not lose hope. On the contrary, hold on to your hope. Hold yes. on to your knowing. Because I don't need hope now. I know. That's right. I know that the light is here. The day has come. And it, nothing, I love it. Nothing will stop it. That's right. And Just as surely as day follows night, this is happening. Yes. And as Cute says, trust the plan. Um, what I'd like to do is thank everybody who showed up in English and is listening to this. And um, talk just a little bit in Spanish to our Spanish-speaking friends about um, the wall, the books. Um, one of the reasons that we do love and appreciate uh, President Trump, and we feel that this is a path of the awakening on the planet. And we want to just thank you all for being there. I will put um, the links to the books under this video so that you can find them. Please share the video. This will also go up on our YouTube channel, which is 21st Century Superhuman. It will also go up on Instagram, which you should find through Carrie Kiristar or 21st Century Superhuman. And um, we invite you to share this with your friends if you like it. And be sure to subscribe and like our YouTube channel. That helps us. And you can ring that little bell. It helps you get notifications when new things go up. Um, and we also, I have been joining um, 
parlor, we, the we, the new we thing. Um, I've been joining some other social media sites just in order to have some backup. Um, we expect that we're trying to stay out of the censoring area and still share truth. And um, so there's many ways to find each other. So look for us everywhere and 21st Century Superhuman Carrie Kira Star and um, make sure you connect with us and share what we're sharing because this is how we change the world. We change it by sharing. And, we and let us know what you think. Yes. Tell Absolutely. us what you think. I mean, put in the chat right there what you think of this conversation. Yes. Put in the chat right there if you feel some kind of, of obstacle with seeing uh, our background here. Yeah. I mean, because that obstacle is showing us what we need to go through or what you need to go through. Yeah. And, you know, we each have, have our own and what we're doing. So I just, I just thought of something else. Uh, okay. And as, even if it's not live anymore, you can still share and we'll still see your comments. Share under our YouTube videos. Let us know what kind of things you want to know about to help you understand how to live this path. Because that's what our walk is about. It is about the 21st century superhuman walk in these times and these days. Se me ocurrió algo. Si me entiendes, escriba en el chat. Yo te entiendo. Yo hablo español. Y después de eso, para los que hablan español, y si quieres compartir esto con alguien en español, el libro que se llama en español El Superhumano del Siglo XXI. Libro 1 se llama El Cambio de las Eras. Lo que hemos estado hablando ahorita es el punto en que está el mundo ahorita. Estamos en el gran cambio de las eras. Los profecías de los maya, de los Hopi, de los aborígenes de Australia, Colombia, en todo el mundo, África, hablan del mismo cambio en que nos encontramos ahorita. Se trata del cambio galáctico, donde estamos en nuestro punto galáctico. Después de una era de oscuridad de 13,000 años, estamos entrando a una era dorada de luz de otros 13,000 años. Y estamos en el cambio ahorita. Estamos cambiando de la noche a la luz. Y nos encontramos en esas ahorita. Más de eso en el libro, este, el superhumano del siglo XXI, el cambio de las eras es el primer libro. Este, lo que hablamos acerca de la pared de Trump, este, dijimos que hay mucho más ocurriendo detrás del escenario que, que lo que sabemos. Y detrás del escenario de eso de la pared, en la superficie parece que es algo este, para que la gente no pase la frontera. Pero detrás del escenario, la, las verdader, el verdadero ímpetus de eso se tiene que ver con dejar de que pasen las drogas, de que pasen los carteles, las ilegalidades, el tráfico humano que no, yo no tenía en cuenta qué tan profundo era ese problema hasta ahora. Pero ahora sabemos que eso es. Entonces, la idea es del muro tiene que ver más con eso. Están trabajando detrás del escenario para parar todas estas cosas horribles en el planeta que, llevan, que vienen más bien de la oscuridad. Y lo que viene en la luz no puede quedarse la noche. Lo oscuro no se puede quedar ahí. Entonces, este, si les interesa, escríbanos algo. Si quieren escuchar más en español, escríbanlo. ¿Por qué medio les gustaría escucharlo? Por Facebook, por, no sé, WhatsApp, por de, de, de YouTube. Este, si tenemos contemplado abrir más canales en español, denos tus sugerencias. ¿Qué piensas que serían la mejor, las mejores maneras de comunicarnos con ustedes en español? Con eso, les doy mis bendiciones. Gracias a todos. Ah, que busquen el libro este, en Amazon. Eh, se encuentra el libro en español. El audiolibro es de Audiobook Up Already. Should be up in about a week. Ok. Está en proceso de eh, confirmación, de aprobación. Ya sometimos todas los, los, las grabaciones del audio. Este, pero el libro, el, el libro en Kindle o en, en, en Amazon, si lo pueden pedir, eh, ya, está, ya está abierto al público. Okay. So there you have it. Adios, <laughs> bendiciones. Tell Mucho us what you think. Yes. We love you. The highest blessings. Take and care, don't forget everyone. what? 
Breathe. Can you say it in Spanish? Respira. Breathe. Sonríe. And llama. Love. Mm -hmm. Sí. Adios. Okay. Adios. And we will see you all soon. Thank you for being here with us on this great rainbow of light.